Hi, I'm Ree. Welcome back to my channel, Mummy of Four Does Disney. Today I am sharing a Primark Disney haul with you. I've got loads of really, really lovely bits to show you. If you haven't seen the Primark Come Shop with me portion of this video, I shall link it down below along with anything else I happen to mention while we are chatting so you can catch that after you've seen this one. If you're new I would love it if you would join my Disney family by subscribing, turning on bell notifications so you don't miss any Disney vlogs, Disney holiday planning or packing videos or Disney shop with me and haul videos. The first item I've got to show you is this absolutely stunning pink Minnie Mouse t-shirt. I have bought it in an extra small even though so it says six to eight on it but I like my t-shirts to be quite fitted. I am no way a six to eight, I'm more like an eight to ten but I do prefer these t-shirts. I think I've had extra small in these t-shirts before, at least that's what I'm remembering. I might put this on, it'd be tiny. So this is actually a Primark t-shirt as well so it'll be the same fit as this one which I believe is also extra small. I think their t-shirts are quite oversized and I just prefer them a little more snug when it comes to the t-shirts. So that was five pounds. I love pink. You guys know I love pink. I love Minnie Mouse. I love these t-shirts for like in the summer just like for today or maybe in the evenings after I've had a shower. Love it. Love love. Love that. What do we think? Let me know your favourite items down in the comments. Now to go with that. Look at this jumper. Ah! How cute is that? So this has got six Minnie Mouse faces, six different little expressions. Now, by contrast, I've got a medium, which is a 12 to 14 in the jumper. So whereas I like my t-shirts quite just sort of fitted, for the jumpers, I prefer them a little bit more oversized, a little bit snuggly. This jumper was eight pounds. I mean, it's gorgeous, it's stunning. It's pretty much identical color to the pink t-shirt. I'm really tempted to take this, perhaps on our upcoming Disney staycation cruise, because like I could change into this as like a more casual, perhaps in the evening after dinner, after I've had a shower, kind of thing I just like sling on before I kind of dress into my more dressy like Disney bound in dresses and things to go for dinner. And I just think that jumper would be so snuggly, wouldn't it? So what do you think? Should I take that on the cruise with shorts and some mini ears? Or have we got other outfits that are better? Then also for the cruise and also pink, I have got these really cute Minnie Mouse sandals for my girls. Now they have had also Primark silver sparkly Elsa shoes, slip on ones, but I feel like they're not the kind of shoes they can wear for long periods of time. They might wear those to go for dinner or to go to see the show but they're more dressing up shoes they're not going to be able to walk in them for long periods of time they're more likely to trip and fall for like really running around the ship all day I thought these sandals would be good around the pool just generally we don't need to worry about socks and things and look at this they light up they light up my girls are gonna go mad for those so I'm hoping that these are gonna be the right size for Bella who is six, I have got a size one. And these shoes were 12 pounds. And then for my little ones are, I did try one of these on her. She was actually shopping with me. If you watched the come shop with me video or the main come shop with me, which was a bit chattier on my main channel. Cause I did two uh, versions of that video really. I did the main come shop with me where we went all around Primark and looked at everything non-Disney. That was over on my main channel. And then on this channel, I just looked at the Disney stuff. So if you haven't seen those videos, you can go and check those out after you've seen this. I will link them below. So these are a size eight. Zara is four and has got the dirtiest feet ever because she's just tiny. And these, I'm assuming they're the same price, but sometimes smaller sizes are cheaper. No, these are still, still 12 pounds. They've got a the little mini motif on them. They've got Minnie Mouse like on the sole, which I know you're not really gonna see, but probably the best bit. I'm not gonna lose my children. When the shoes light up. Then for Will, I got these. I got them in a size two, but then I got back and I was like, oh, I think he might be more like a two and a half now. So these are Marvel Avengers shoes. I think they're really cute. I'm really hoping they're gonna fit him. They've got the Velcro-y bit and elastic laces. So they should be really easy for getting on and off. I hope they'll fit in. They're really sweet. They're quite kind of bright and pretty, but still quite, you know, superhero boyish. Also 12 pounds. So we'll have to let you know if they fit or if they're gonna have to go back. That would be sad, wouldn't it? I don't know if they do these in a three. Hopefully if they have got to go back, I can just pick them up in a three. And then we've got this, which is a Minnie Mouse, like a, 
a zippy case thing. I think it's supposed to be a makeup bag, but you could use this for anything. I'm actually tempted to take this on the Disney Magic at Sea Cruise and fill it full of like Disney figure toys because obviously I need to pack some toys for them to play with while we're in the stateroom, while I'm getting ready, or while we're just having a bit of chill time before we say go down for dinner or something. So I thought I'd fill this full of like little Disney characters and pack that as a little tiny toy bag. And if I pack toys that they can all share, then obviously I don't need to pack as many toys. So what do we think of that? It's got a little M for Mickey or Minnie on the zip. I actually bought the smaller version of this in a previous Primark haul, a flatter one. And I'm using that at the moment to store my different colored watch straps for when I change my watch strap over. So this was five pounds. I love it. It's just so cute, really pretty. So this is like a, like a, what's it called? Like a plasticky, like quite satisfying plasticky uh, smooth finish. And then this is just fabric with kind of like a tie dyed rainbow on it. So they had a few different bits in this fabric, but they'd make quite nice gifts as well, don't you think? Then the next bits I have got are Minnie Mouse lip balms. So these have got sheer butter, is that how you say it? Is it shea butter or shea butter? And vitamin E in them. So these have got Minnie Mouse on the um, actual lip balm. Should I just take it out so we can see it? I've got two of them and they were two pounds each. We'll just take a little closer look. It actually says heart the earth on it. They've got like um, a range in Primark all about Mickey and Minnie supporting the earth. I've actually got this in the Mickey version that we bought before. Perhaps my auntie picked one up for me. I did show it in a previous um, Disney haul video, but it's a really nice, very moisturizing lip balm. And I've got really, really dry skin, but so do my children, especially my girls. And Zara gets a really random patch of dry skin just next to her mouth. If it's allowed to get too dry, she picks it and then it gets infected. So if I just keep on top of it and I literally put a little bit of lip balm on it every day, then she's fine. It doesn't, it just goes away. It's not dry anymore. So a mini mouse lip balm will probably help for that. And then next I got more lip balms, but what I didn't realize till I got back is how cute these are, look. So that, it's like got a perforated section. And if you look behind the packaging, one has got Minnie and one has got Mickey and they're kissing. So you can split that and give one to you and one to a friend, almost like a friendship lip balm. Does that even make sense? Is that a thing, a friendship lip balm? So I don't know, let's, should we open these up and have a little look? So you can split them. Oh, maybe it's best to take this back off. There you go, so you can split them like that. They're really cute. So the Minnie is on top of the Mickey and the Mickey is on top of Kissing Minnie. We'll have a look inside and show you. So the Mickey tin is cherry scented. Not a massive fan of cherry scented things myself because I had gastroenteritis when I was a child and for a week I was only allowed Dioralite, nothing else. Just Dioralite or boiled water. And it's traumatized me against cherry scented things. So let me know if you're the same and Dioralite ever traumatized you. The way it traumatized me. And then the mini one, which is on the Mickey packaging. This one, what scent is this? Bam, 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 bam. That smells about more like strawberry. Oh, peach. It does actually say on the front. So it actually says on the front, this one's peach. That smells really good. All right, so I'm not fast on the Mickey um, cherry one just because of my day or like cherry issues, but this mini peach one, oh, that's so good. Yeah, I like that one. So that's my favorite. Not fast on the Mickey one, if I'm honest. Like the tin, just personal issues with cherry. Then I got these three rolls of Lilo and Stitch, or Lilo and Stitch, is this, no, this is Stitch, isn't it? So this is the blue one Stitch, the girl's Lilo. So Stitch and Pink Stitch, which I think is called Angel. You guys keep telling me the name of it because I haven't actually seen Lilo and Stitch all the way through. I know, I know, I know, I know, I need to. I got three rolls of this, five meter wrapping paper. It was £1.50 a roll. And my son, whose birthday is coming up, really likes Stitch. So that's for his birthday. And then if you saw my main shop with me and haul video, you'll know that I bought the boys little hair brushes, Harry Potter ones. So they're not in this video because Harry Potter is not Disney, but I got some Disney versions for my girls. Look how beautiful these are. They're just so cute. So these Disney hair brushes, I thought they could go in their bags when we go on the Disney magic. They've got Minnie Mouse bags that I bought in a Georgia Asda haul. So they've got those already. And these little mini brushes can live in their bags. So these were just £2.50 each. They are flipping adorable. And now I'm massively regretting my life choices not to get one for myself. I think I may have to go back. I really want one of these for myself now because I need one of these for my bag. 
obviously. I mean, I could just borrow the girls, but still, I need one of these for my bag. So speaking of regretting my life choices, things that I saw in the Disney range that I wish I had bought. I absolutely love for like lounging around, probably wouldn't just wear them out and about, I don't think, but I really love the white Disney shorts and matching sweatshirt jumper thing. I could put that with either a black or a white just vest top and that would be lovely for like after a shower, lounging around in the day or the evening, at home or on holiday. I love that. I mean white is not a sensible choice for someone with four children because sticky fingers and you know it doesn't stay white for long. But <laughs> really love those. They look so comfy and lovely. I don't know whether I should have tried the little shorts that also had the bit over that kind of made it look like a skirt. If you follow me over on my main Instagram you will have heard me talking about my shorts issues and just I've always had a thing about shorts like I can wear skirts but not shorts because they draw attention to my thigh circumference or some nonsense that I've always told myself. I wonder if I should have experimented with those tried them on, perhaps in a normal world I would have just gone into the fitting rooms, but maybe I should have picked them up, tried them on and then taken them back if they weren't any good. I don't know, what do you think? Weigh in on that. So I wish I'd bought myself a brush. I love the Minnie Mouse, especially the kind of the rose gold brushes, love those. And I wish I'd picked up, I didn't see one this time, but I really want a Simba t-shirt because when we go to Florida, which is hopefully happening in January 2022, you know, COVID permitting, because that's when we've got the deposit down for, we are booked to stay in a Lion King suite in the Art of Animation Hotel, which will be amazing. But I don't have any Lion King t-shirts, so I need, you know, at least one of those. They've also got Lion King jumpers and things, but I'm pretty sure we're not gonna need jumpers in Florida, even in January, because the highs in Florida, by all accounts in January, are about 21 degrees, which if you're in Florida, you're like, wow, that sounds cold, I'm sure. But if you're in the UK, you'd be like 21. Wow, I'd take that as high of summer, thank you very much. From the UK myself, that's uh, kind of where we're at with the heat. 21 for us is really blooming warm. So those are my things I wish I'd gone back and bought. If you saw my Primark, come shop with me, the Disney one, what else should I have bought that I did not pick up in this haul? And I know you very naughty people will encourage me to go back and pick up the bits that I didn't get. I know what you like, I know. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it that massive thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe. Leave me a comment down below and turn on bell notifications so that you get notified whenever I upload new Disney content. There are more videos on screen, more Disney-tastic ones for you to watch. Click on one and I shall see you over there in a moment. Bye.